The number 13 was an unlucky number for Atal Bihari Vajpayee. In 1996 he lasted just 13 days as prime minister and when he returned to power in 1998 his government collapsed after 13 months. Ke pradhan mantri ke roop mein it was only in the third attempt that he completed a full term in office from 1999 to 2004. Is kola halke baad a government that lasted less than 2 weeks might seem historically insignificant but for the Bharatiya Janata Party or BJP It was a huge achievement because its long wait to head a government at the center was finally over. From a low of 2 seats in 1984, the party had risen to emerge as the single largest party in the Lok Sabha with 161 seats in 1996. The BJP's fast track to power was due to its campaign for the construction of the Ram Temple in Ayodhya. It was also an embarrassment because the very issue that brought the BJP to power, the Babri Masjid Ram Janmabhoomi conflict, played a part in Vajpayee's failure to stay in power for more than 13 days. Ninda karne wale ko paas mein rakhna chahiye. After Vajpayee took oath on the 16th of May 1996, he began to look for allies to help him acquire a majority in parliament thanks to pre-poll alliances the bjp was able to raise its tally from 161 seats to 201 but after he was invited to form a government not a single mp offered their support due to the bjp's track record on the babri masjid demolition the bjp was way short of the halfway mark of 272 in a house of 544 Vajpayee was often called the right man in the wrong party political parties were inclined to support him but not the BJP itself as a result the BJP failed to form a government and Vajpayee resigned on the 28th of May 1996 the BJP returned to power in 1998 but before it did India saw two short-lived governments Each was a coalition of regional parties, the Janata Dal and Left parties together forming the United Front. The first United Front government was headed by the Janata Dal's Karnataka Chief Minister H D Devagowda, and it was formed after Vajpayee resigned in 1996. But the Gowda government collapsed within a year and was followed by that of Inder Kumar Gujral, who led another United Front coalition government at the center. After the Gujarat government collapsed, the BJP's fortunes improved in the 1998 elections with the party now bagging 182 seats. This time, Vajpayee managed to stitch together an alliance with some of those very parties that had refused to help him form a government 2 years earlier. But in his second stint as prime minister, Vajpayee managed to survive only 13 months as his government collapsed in April 1999. The BJP had failed to hold office twice in 3 years but its fortunes were clearly on the rise. While the Ram Janmabhoomi movement had catapulted the BJP to power, the 1996 election results were also a verdict against the Congress's poor performance under PV Narasimha Rao. It was during his term as prime minister that India embarked on its historic liberalization program which breathed life back into the economy on the verge of collapse. To keep the reform program going, Rao had to ensure that his government survived. He used money, power, and influence to buy opposition votes when he faced a trial of strength in parliament and engineered splits in vulnerable parties to increase the Congress's strength. By 1993, he had mustered a majority. The price that Rao had to pay for stability was endemic corruption, and his term in office was riddled with it. There was a cash for votes Jharkhand Mukti Morcha scandal where MPs were bribed to secure their votes for the government. Several high profile ministers in the Rao government were accused of corruption in various cases including stalwarts like P Chidambaram, CK Jafar Sharif, Kalpnath Rai, Madhav Rao Sindhya, VC Shukla and Kamal Nath. The Harshad Mehta mega stock market scam of 1992 also tainted Rao's reputation as Mehta had used public sector banks and companies to manipulate the stock market to his personal gain. 
More importantly, the Congress had lost the support of Muslims following the Babri Masjid demolition in December 1992. The Hindu upper caste in the Hindi belt deserted the Congress in favour of the BJP. As a result, the Congress lost a series of state elections and when Rao faced the 1996 Lok Sabha polls, the Congress was much weaker than it was in 1991. The Congress's loss was the BJP's gain. The BJP was in power for 13 days in 1996 and 13 months in 1998-99. But after these two short stints, the party was able to increase its tally from its previous two stints to 181 seats. As a result, in 1999, the BJP led the National Democratic Alliance with Atal Bihari Vajpayee enjoying a full five-year term. The BJP had benefited from a weakened Congress and the political instability created by the contradictions in the coalition governments that had preceded it. Tired of the turbulence, the people of India had voted for stability.